Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is another video on the U8 smartwatch, which uh, you may notice is in pieces currently, because I decided I want to tear it apart and see what's inside of it. Um, I already took the back metal plate off, which I know somebody else did a tear down, but they didn't take that off, and there's screws under there, so they just tore out all the standoffs, which was quite destructive. Um, that actually popped apart a little bit because it's quite a strong adhesive layer on that. I managed to get it off without bending it too much. But yeah, that should go back on no problem then. Because um, I still do want to keep this and use it for a bit more. Um, so far, it's not going too bad. One of the gripes I have with it is um, the vibration motor in here is kind of overly powerful and makes quite a loud noise every time it vibrates. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of something in there to dampen it so it doesn't make quite as noticeable of a sound. Because when I'm in class and that goes off, it's uh, kind of distracting. Um, and other people around you can hear it. And they kind of look at you funny. But um, yeah, it's uh, holding up alright. There's a few little nicks and stuff in it already just from uh, bumping it on things. Because it is quite soft plastic around the edge. But I'll go ahead and uh, pull these screws out here if I can see it. Looking at here, we got the battery. This is a little lithium ion cell. Just solder directly onto the board here as a MediaTek processor. And this is probably our probably our Bluetooth module or display driver down there. I'm not sure where that goes off to. Uh, that's probably why it vibrates. Imagine that's probably our vibration motor there. Got a little microphone that's in a eh, fairly decent little rubber isolation bit. Uh, this is our speaker here. And these are supposed to be glued down. They're sticky, but they haven't really stuck. Uh, yeah, so that's probably why. If I put pressure on the back of the watch, it seemed to stop it from rattling so badly. But uh, that would be why it was rattling. This wasn't actually stuck down, so this module's just kind of vibrating in here horribly. Well, at least that's easy to fix. It's actually not too bad to get these apart. <clears throat> yeah, it just needs a little something on the other side of that to uh, keep it from vibrating. I'll look for a little piece of foam, cut it to the right size, and stick it under there. Um, yeah. Got our USB port in there, which has appears to be a tactile switch stuck to the back of the USB port. That's kind of cool. It's got a little flat flex going up to the U the, the uh, switch, and then it's glued to the back of the USB port. That's actually pretty innovative. I, I like how they did that. Um, it's like our little antenna down in there. I imagine this is probably our display driver. It seems to go over to flat flex on the side there, down, around, then under. Go over to the display. I don't want to pull the display out because I don't want to get dust underneath the panel. That always happens with these things, especially cheap devices. You get just a little speck of dust underneath the screen. This one doesn't seem to have any yet, so I don't really feel like getting it under there. Um, hmm. Got that little bit there that's supposed to push onto the uh, motor there to keep it down, but Looks like it was just kind of barely touching it. So yeah, that's why it was vibrating. Um, let me grab some foam and I will be right back. And the screen still looks fine. Make sure everything still works okay. Yep, still seems to be working. Just as crap as ever. Um, go ahead and put the uh, put the back panel on. Actually, the uh, little device isn't that bad. There. I 
Jessica bought one. Couldn't even tell. Looks like new again. There we are. Now, I'll just have to test it. Get somebody to send me a text, I guess. See if it, uh... See if it sounds a little bit better now. Alright. Go ahead and test this and give you guys the verdict. Well, you'll be undoubtedly glad to hear that the modification actually worked and the watch now behaves much nicer. I'll go ahead and send it an alert here and we'll show you what it sounds like now. It's much, much quieter than it was before. I'm going to go ahead and send it an alert here now. Now it just sounds kind of like my phone when it goes off. Um, it's still quite a um, quite a violent vibration, but um, it really camera really doesn't like this today. But yeah, it's uh, it's working a lot better now. So if you do get one of these and it's really loud, that's something you can do. Just open it up and jam a bit of foam in there. It keeps it from vibrating. Um, but yeah. I'm going to have a little bit of an update video coming in about a week, just kind of detailing what I like and what I don't like and some helpful tricks and tips with these if you do plan on buying one, but I would honestly wait until I uh, get that video out before you go out and buy one of these. Um, right now I can tell you there's a lot of things that I don't mind about it, and there's a lot of things that I don't really care for about it either, so uh, it's got its pros and cons, but uh, I'm, I'm not too disappointed with it for my money so far. But yeah, I'll give you the full story in about a week after I wear it around for a bit. I've been wearing it for the last couple days, and um, once I got that vibration problem fixed, it hasn't been too bad. So yeah, I'll, I'll give you guys an update in a week, and I will see you then. Leave a comment down in the comment section, give it a big old thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you later.